Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here and examples on what? On the fundamental time period. So let's say I give the heading of examples, okay? So the first that we take is, uh, let's say a signal is given to be cos of t into cos of 4t. So the signal x of t is cos of 2t into cos of 4t, right? Now let me tell you a point is that over here we have the function in the product form. So we cannot predict from here whether this is periodic or aperiodic and we cannot calculate the, the time period from the product form as well. So what we need to do is we need to convert it some way or the other into, into some form, okay? So for this we have simply we have a formula which is what? That, uh, that uh, 2 times, 2 times right? Yes, we have a formula that 2 times cos of alpha cos of beta this equals cos of alpha plus beta plus cos of alpha minus beta so this is a formula so you imply it over here alpha is 2t beta is 4t so you, if you imply the formula and we have the 2 over here so x of t so this would be 1 over 2 times cos of alpha plus beta is what it's 4 plus 2, so you would have a 60. Do we have a pi? No. And then you have plus cos of 2 minus 4, so you have a, a, a minus 2t. Minus 2t. So now as we know that this cos, of, uh, this cos is an even function, which means cos of minus 2t would equal cos of 2t. So for simplicity, we would take it cos of 2t. Right? Now. Now we have, uh, we have what? We have this, uh, this function in, in a sum form, okay, neglecting this 1 over 2. Because this is, this has nothing to do, if you multiply this, has nothing to do with the, with the what? With the omega naught. Our thing is that t naught, it is equal to 2 pi upon omega naught. So if you multiply this 1 over 2, it still won't affect omega naught. So now we are... Uh, we are breaking it into its component form. So you have x1 of t is what? It's uh, it's uh, 6, right? Sorry, x1 of t is cos of 60. So which means that omega 1 is equal to 6. So uh, t1 is equal to 2 pi by 6. Or it's pi by 3. Isn't it so? It is, right? And similarly you have x2 of t which is equal to cos of 2t so over here omega 2 is uh, omega 2 is 2 which means that t2 is 2 pi upon 2 which is equal to pi radians or seconds yes now now you do what you find out the ratio t1 by t2 t1 by t2 so this equals pi by 3 divided by pi so which means multiplied by 1 over pi so pi pi would cancel out and the ratio is 1 over 3. Now this 1 over 3 is a rational number or an irrational number, please. Rational, irrational. It is a rational number. It is a rational number. Yes? You find it out, okay? Well, I'm saying it from the P by Q form. You multiply, you divide 1 by 3. Yes, so you will get a 0 0.999 or what? Yes. I don't know. Fine, rational, irrational, something I don't know, okay. So, this is basically a rational number. Fine, I'm just joking. Well, I was not joking about that I don't know rational, irrational. I don't know a point on rational, irrational, fine. So, this is rational. And this function is periodic. Is that fine? So, now I told you that you equate this t1 upon t2, 1 over 3, you equate it to the fundamental time period of the equation. This is the fundamental time period of the equation. So, which means it's 3 times t1. 3 times t1 equals t2. This is the fundamental time period. So, 3 times t1 is what? It's pi. t2 is pi. The fundamental time period is 
pi seconds or pi radians or whatever it is. So the frequency would be 1 over pi hertz. Now remember, remember that I told you that irrational was something that included pi. And if it included pi, so that was not what? That was not periodic. But over here we have the period equal to pi seconds, right? So, so this is not the ratio. So you could not say that this is pi, so this is aperiodic. This is the period that is a second and that was the ratio that was rational, irrational including pi or something like that. Let's say another example I take on three components, fine, so that the, the, the confusion wipes out. So let's say this, this was the second, right? This was the second example? No, this was third. This was third and this is fourth now. <coughs> Sorry, x of t is cos of 2t plus cos of 3t plus cos of 5t. Is that okay? Now what do you do? You, you split it into its components. So let's say x1 of t is cos of 2t. So this would imply that the omega 1 is 2 and t1 is 2 pi upon 2. So this would imply it's pi, right? Similarly, x2 of t is cos of 3t. So omega 2 is 3, t2 is equal to 2 pi upon 3. x3 of t is cos of 5t, so omega 3 is 5, t3 is 2 pi upon 5. Now the important point arises. What's the important point? I told you to find the ratio, t1 over t2. Over here, what do you do? You have three functions. Hmm? What do you do? So, so you take any two first, and then with the third, any two first, and then combine it with the third. So, so let's say first I take one and two. Let's say first I take one and two. So t one over t two. So this is pi over three upon two pi. Pi pi over two pi upon three. So which means pi multiplied three over two pi. So pi pi cancels out, and this is three by two. So is this rational or irrational? Once again, I leave it to you. For me, it's rational over here. Fine, this is rational. So T1 by T2 we have. So this would now be, so from here we find out, the, now the next step is that from here we find out the period of the first two components together. So this equation that is T1 upon T2 is equal to 3 by 2 you would equate it to the fundamental time period of the first two components. So this would be T12 over here. T12. Fine. So now T12 is what? It's 2 times T1 or it's 3 times T2. 2 times T1 or it's 3 times T2. Uh, so which is equal to what? 2 pi. So which implies that T12 is equal to 2 pi. And let me check what have I written. Yes, t12 is equal to 2 pi. Now, uh, you have it for the first two. Now, you take this thing, the ratio of this thing with the third component. So, which means that now you take what? You take t12 ratioed with t3. Fine? <clears throat> Sorry. So, you have t12 is equal to 2 pi. And t3 is equal to 2 pi by 5. So you have a 5 by 2 pi. So this would give you 5. This would give you 5. Now, 5 is a rational number or a rational number? It's a rational number, right? So 5 is again a rational number. So which means this is also periodic. So now what do you do for the for the overall period, for the overall period of the function now, because this is 1, 2 and 3, all of them combined. So you have the t1, 2, 3, 
which is equal to t naught of the function x of t. So, this is equal to this equation, right? t12 upon t3, which is equal to 5. So, it would be equal to t12. So, so I would say that t naught is equal to t12, which is equal to 5 times t3. So, t12 is equal to 2 pi and 5 times t3 is also 2 pi. So, which means that the fundamental period for this question is 2 pi. And I believe you did not understand it. Yes? Yes. So, I will revise it for you guys. So, you had three components. You find out their period. Uh, what do we say? One by one. Then you take any two components and find their period and then you combine it with the third. So, over here I took 1 and 2, I took the ratio, I found the period of the first two. Then I combined it with the third, I took the ratio. So, now we have all of them combined. So, you have what? You have the period of the overall signal. That's all. I don't have any other example and I am also feeling a little tired. So that's all about, that's maybe all about the periodic and aperiodic signals in the next lecture with I don't know whatever to do, till then take care of yourself and everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers and do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Goodbye.